one more time. Which adds up to 12,000 
which adds up to $12,500 on his 5,000 install units. So this is a case of win-win business result. For the car renter and the lessee, they enjoy the limited uh, financial liability. Once they allow the GPS installation, they get protection. And if unfortunately the car is lost, they are not liable for all loss. For the car rental and the insurance companies, they get more visibility over their fleet, protection for their assets, and revenue from the insurance. And of course, for Comcast partners, the system integrator, they are happy because they got the revenue generated from the GPS hardware, from the SIM card service, from the continual data support to those companies. This is, that's all for, the, for what we have done for the GPS tracking for car rental companies. And in the future, we look forward to find more opportunities with our partner to provide value added propositions for our for your business and ours. Thank you very much. And Thank I'm, you, Simon. I'm sorry today the, the seems the character in the presentation is not so good. Thank no, you. it's sorry. Fine. Oh, that's great. <laughs> we still have a lot of time, so I'm ready for your tons of questions. Anyone has any questions? Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I just have one question okay. related to, you mentioned something about how you deal with jamming tool. Yeah. So can you just uh, highlight again, how do you deal with this kind of yes. like, uh, behavior? Because normally if someone with a jamming tool to detect the GPS tracker, usually it's because the tracker is uh, transmitting the signals constantly. So once he has have the tool, he can wait yes. to detect. But normally with this asset checker, they use the, the, the manager set like one day, one position, two day, uh, uh, so two position, one day. In the period, the device is understood. It won't send signal to be detected. Mm -hmm. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other questions? Okay. So is it a, is it a random transmission or uh, yeah. is that how it stops the detection? Uh, it's, it's actually periodic. You could set it as uh, one hour, uh, or two hours, three hours, four hours. It depends on your choice. Uh, can you also set it up to communicate just by SMS, since we are talking about uh, infrequent communication, mm -hmm. whereby uh, instead of, of, of sending data, mm -hmm. it can send an SMS? Yes, it could also be sent by SMS. It's optional for, for the manager. Okay, thank you. I believe I saw some, okay. Uh, we are familiar with Jimmy and Hong Kong. Thank you. Uh, so my question is very specific. It's, uh, we use a similar device called AT4. Yeah. From your guys only. Yeah. How are these three different from that and what, what is the advantage or disadvantage? Okay, thanks for the question. AT4 is another popular device popular model for Compass. The difference is 84 is 10,000 million ampere. The battery size totally different to this project's use. And secondly, the 84 battery is rechargeable. So um, actually, in most scenarios, those customers use it to track the car uh, with a more frequent location update. But for this kind of uh, car rental company, they don't actually need to check the real-time data of the, of the car. They just need to, um, how to say, uh, keep note of the location one day, and then in case of the emergency or in case of the search, he could activate the real-time. He could also write an account to the, to the police, <coughs> and the police could check the device in real-time. These are not rechargeable batteries? This one? Mm -hmm. So it's the battery is disposable, but it has another ver version that is rechargeable. Same case. So, so you, you 
said you can activate it in case of an emergency, you can activate it. You, so some devices we know you cannot change the plan until it's live. Can you intervene any time to make it an online? Or you have to wait for the second, yes. for the coming uh, period? Yes, we need to wait for it. You need to wait. To yes. So this is an anti-theft solution. Mm -hmm. Nothing else can be yes. uh, added as a value for the current agency. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you mentioned that the battery could last up to uh, two years. Uh, specifically on which uh, periodic configuration, I mean, how many messages per, let's see, One once a day. Thank you. Thank you. Could you please give an example where uh, the device is placed in the car? Okay. Some customer um, creates it even under the car. Under they the can place it anywhere. Does, does it get damaged there? Yeah, for, for some for some of our model with uh, rocket case, it's okay to put it under the car, it's definitely. And it's water resistant? Yes, for uh, for our other model, AD84 is water waterproof. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. Uh, is it the easy device compatible or 4G? SIM card, I'm asking about. Uh, not yet. Now we only have a uh, 2G version and 3G version, the, and we are developing the 4G version based on Catalan Cat and Narrowband IoT. It's, it's, we expect to come uh, at the beginning in January of 2020. So right now, 3G is compatible? Right now it's 2G based on uh, 2G and 3G. Oh, okay. okay. Next, uh, I, uh, we can run the sensor for this or no? No sense. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Nishat, you have a question? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Why? Nishat is okay. broken. <laughs> okay, you're ready. Good question. Good question. It has an internal. Hi. Nice presentation. This is really nice. The product is awesome. Great form factor. Um, you mentioned you could mount it under the vehicle, right? Yeah. It has an internal antenna. Internal antenna. And it will work, uh, it, you will get reception if it is mounted under the vehicle. Yes, yeah, uh, how do you say, or direction antenna. Or direction antenna. My, my question is, does it work if you mount this device under the, and you're only getting one message a day. Mm -hmm. So the chances of missing that one crucial message a day if this thing is under the vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's only one option of the of the installation. Okay. Uh, yeah. So some of our customer choose to choose this kind of case. Okay. And if some customer think it's not safe enough, he could choose the other place to hide it. <coughs> Thanks. Answer you, uh, Nisha. We've tested the 84. It's an excellent product. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Mine can be asked later. <laughs> but it has to do with price anyway. Quantities and price. <laughs> yeah, we can discuss it tomorrow in yeah. test. <laughs> okay. We have plenty of time there. security solution so that's how, how far we can go with your product day before that's why I'm saying it's an excellent product thank you thank you thank you